So I'd just like to comment on the response from the official opposition. You know, I got up to ask um, Mr. Polyev a question because he came out very strongly to say that he would not support important measures that are going to support Canadians. He said right from the beginning that he won't be supporting the fall economic statement, which means he won't be supporting students across this country with the permanent elimination of interest rates on student loans. He said he won't be supporting the fall economic statement, which means he won't be supporting the Canada workers' benefit. This is a clear pattern of the Conservatives who talk a big game on affordability, but when the rubber hits the road, they vote against time and time again important measures that support hardworking Canadians. You know, yesterday the Prime Minister asked the leader of the opposition if as he says, he's going to stand for rights and freedoms, that he will actually stand up against the preemptive use of the notwithstanding clause in Ontario. He refused to answer that question, and he tried to quick, cleverly turn it around. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you have someone who's saying, I'm going to stand up for your rights, I'm going to stand up for your freedoms, but on the very first occasion doesn't, they're telling you who they are. I, you know, we, we have to expect this from the leader of the opposition, I guess, because he's been consistent in demonstrating that he's not going to be there for low-income Canadians, that he's not going to be there for middle-income Canadians, that he voted against the Canada Child Benefit, he voted against affordable childcare that's helping families from coast to coast to coast. But I would hope that in these times when Canadians are struggling, when we need to be there all together working for them, that we could count on members of parliament from all parties to stand together and to make sure that we're providing that real support to Canadians. Thank you. Oh, en français. OK, parfait. Uh, <laughs> je, je viens de faire une demande du parti du chef conservateur uh, sur son réponse qui a déjà dit qu'il ne va pas appuyer uh, le uh, fall economic statement, um, le, comment on dit ça? Énoncé économique de l'automne. Um, et c'est... Je suis déçue parce qu'il a déjà énoncé aux étudiants partout en ce pays qu'il ne va pas appuyer à l'élimination d'intérêts sur, euh, les, euh, euh, sur les, les prestations, merci, les prêts d'étudiants. Il a dit aux euh, travailleurs euh, moins nantis qu'il ne va pas les appuyer. Et il a dit à l'industrie canadienne qu'il ne va pas appuyer les importantes mesures pour attrayer l'investissement dans, euh, dans notre économie. Euh, C'est quelque chose qui est consistant euh, avec le chef de l'opposition où, euh, tant et tant, il euh, décide de voter contre les mesures importantes qui appuient aux Canadiens, et particulièrement dans cette euh, époque euh, de, euh, de haut coût de la vie, au lieu d'appuyer les mesures qui vont appuyer les Canadiens, il a déjà dit qu'il ne les appuyait pas. Et pour quelqu'un qui dit qu'il appuie aux droits et aux libertés des Canadiens, à la première lieu où il a l'opportunité de se lever pour les droits des Canadiens, il décide de ne le pas faire. Alors, euh, je crois que ça démontre aux Canadiens exactement qui, a, euh, les, euh, qui est là pour défendre les droits des Canadiens et qui n'est pas là. Merci. Merci.